So hello, this is Alan the Forex Algo Trader and uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to upload videos, uh, I mean how to upload the your MQL5 expert advisors to the MQL5 markets. So this is real quick but at first I wanted to maybe pass through here on my terminal, my trading terminal in this in this case mt5 so i'll just open so for you to do that for you to upload maybe you can just go to i can open my browser and we can see what we mean what i do really mean by that one so the first thing that you want to do is to open your <laughs> of course browser whichever the browser that you are using then you can maybe uh, basically open you are you can maybe log into the mql5 so you'll need an mql5 account or yeah to do this one so once you log into your mql5 in my case i don't have to maybe just go to my browser tab and type in mql5 i'll just go to here my common sites that i do really visit now and then then i will go to market which is now over here so that is now the first maybe the second step that you have to do so you can see all of this one is uh, the products that are availed to the market currently just basically there are many products both paint paid and, uh, free products in the market so in our case we are going so the reason as to why I passed through the my I wanted to pass through my trading terminal, my client trading terminal, is to show you what we had already created and what we are going to upload. So on our previous lesson, we had created this uh, expert advisor that was using moving average as well as ADX in this case. As you can see here, we uh, I end already customize it, customized it on the chart so for viewing references but maybe let us just take a quick recap by going to view the strategy tester and then once the I will just pull this one up and then once the strategy tester is opened you can go to the experts file then choose the our expert file over here which was now the moving average adx expert advisor then i can maybe choose to run it maybe a period of one hour is fine maybe this is right on today so today is uh, just over to today then let, let me just test it within a period of maybe one year so that would be 2022 yeah the same date like today yeah that is now okay that is fine to me so i can just maybe open and run this one on the strategy tester then everything else can be left as the default but make sure to check this box which says visual mode with the display of charts indicators and trades in this case so make sure to check this one so then click on start once you are done with that one then the the history was downloading then the tester the strategy tester visualization mode will be opened for you so i can just maybe was that real quick i'm not sure i just pressed on control plus g to remove the grid so that we can see it clearly i just like it that way without the without the grid however to return the grid you just have to press on your keyboard control plus g just like that one g for grid just like that one so i'll just run it without the the grid in this case so if we run it this is real quick and i'll just slow it down you can see our strategy our expert advisor opened once this uh, we add i'll just go back to that uh, in a moment <laughs> in this case so our expert advisor we used it to open a buy trade whenever this moving average 
in this case is now the first moving average was on top or crossed over this moving average filter filter of fill of of the yeah the filter of period 100 and this one was of period 10 in this case so whenever it crosses and the adx value here i think it is above I think 22 in this case yeah that is correct then we open a buy trade which with a I think I think it was a hundred pips 50 or 100 pips take profit then a stop loss we'll just see that one in a moment when, when I go back to the input parameters of this expert advisor so from there you can see then it is sold over here again whenever those three conditions are met so you can see that was now our expert advisor and that is what it was really doing whenever that was also real quick i mean our expert advisor was making profits i'm trying to see what trade had been opened over here it was a buy trade that it seems like uh, it was a a good one it was a profitable one so basically that is what what our expert advised again we add a sell position over there then we have another buy position so you can see our expert advisor is now winning is making profits so what i will just do is that i will close the expert advisor you can see the graph is quite quite good in this case that is what our expert advisor was doing so i will just go to the inputs section and see so we had a stop loss of 300 pips take profit of 100 pips uh adx period of uh, of 14 the ma period of 10 which is also you know customizable again but in this case eh, I will just maybe this one can set it to even that whichever whichever the manner that you want maybe 0. Point, maybe even one but in this case we just want to go to the defaults we just want to run our expert advisor with the defaults so that was now the expert advisor that we are going to upload to the market so i'll just right click then click on defaults to set them back to their default settings so that you are you now have the general view of what our expert advisor was doing so again you can just go back on our previous lessons on our previous video and check on this moving average adx expert advisor and see its performance you can even just maybe yeah but you can also maybe get it from the market once we add it up in this section as we are going to do so let us now get started then so I will just go back to our to our our what do I call it MQL5 market in this case eh? and then we'll just go to we were already at the market at the market section and you, as you can see this is all the M MetaTrader 5 uh, products that are in the market so you can as well choose to view the ones for MetaTrader 4 in this case so then you can even choose to view all of the most products in the market then you can see they are in this section when when you press see all you can choose to view the new you can choose to view which these are not the products that are new to the market you can choose to view the free markets products that are in the market and as well you can choose to view the paid maybe in this case the paid products yeah whichever as well as you can search for a certain product maybe yeah maybe the bonita ea or whichever whichever the products that are in the market so but that that is not our agenda for this video so i'll just return to the basic settings of the market then go to this little button over here then click on add product so you choose either you want to add a meta trader 5 as you can see here or a meta trader 4 app expert advisor or product to the market so in our case we are going to add meta trader 5 product to the market from there you have to provide the common basically the common things that are needed in this case we will provide a title for our expert advisor so we will do with the 
moving average ADX, the, the name of our expert advisor that was moving average. Maybe I could just over back and have a clear glance of our expert advisor. So, so to settings, MAADX, MAADX expert advisor. Yeah, exactly. That is what we are looking for. MAADX looking forward to creating this case. So MAADX EA. Just like that one and you, you are just basically done so make sure to read these uh, these uh, how do i call it them instructions over here so the product name must begin with the capital letter its length should be should not exceed 50 characters only latin characters are allowed and numbers are allowed do not use words in all capital letters as you can see we used all the words in capital letters so that is the first mistake so and then do not use short or unreadable or unreadable names specifying version number in the product name is not allowed do not use meaningless names such as expert one expert 2015 expert asia etc whichever the name so your product has to be presentable to the market so what you are going to do uh, we are going to change our name to ma ADX maybe moving average ADX in this case they just generally have to be in a, in capital letters just as they can see then market analyzer EA in that case so I missed a letter over there so MAADX market analyzer EA. I hope that our characters are within a length of 50 in that case. So we'll just find out in a moment. So then go, what are we uploading on this product section? So we are up uploading an expert, as you can see. If you want to upload an indicator, you can then choose indicator. But in this case, we are going to upload expert advisor. That is why we called it EA expert advisor. Then there, you can choose the account type. Under the account type, it is either netting or edged. But it, uh, I do usually recommend anyone to, if you do not know the B6, or maybe putting maybe netting over there in this case what uh, I, what i just want to mean is that uh, you are putting restrictions to some of the some of the customers in the market in this case so in this case we are just going to go with any so that the customer can trade with where we with whichever then from there on the expert advisor type you can then choose if, if it is a matigal. In this case, our expert advisor is not a matigal since it has a. We just generally close positions and do not open counter positions in this case. So that is what matigal means, as well as now the grid where you open multiple positions. Maybe sell, 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 sell. If one sell, where in this case, where one sell is not a. Uh, met where one cell is not met you open another cell however the market is going opposite you up to the extent where you open another maybe in this case uh, the, the market starts go to go in your direction now you see some profits some trades or some positions in this case will start to to uh, gain profit while others are maybe somewhere making losses but the general outcome will be that uh, you will have a, a a net profit in this case maybe not a gross profit but a net profit in this case so that is what the grid system means then the a bit late the scalping you you know all of these things man yeah so in this case eh, what we are doing is we are using our moving average as well as now the adx in this case so what we are doing, we will put our expert advisor type to trend because we are trading as per the, as per the, I mean, we are trading using the trade, trade momentum in this case, maybe to say the least. So from there, we then we want to go to, it is a scalp in this case because the profit, the take profit is much less than the stop loss in this case. As you could see, our take 
profit was 100 pips and then the stop loss was 300 pips that is not the user the maybe a scalper in this case then on the price you can maybe choose in this case we want a free product to the market and don't know we don't want to sell this ea to the market however you can maybe make yours that you want to sell in this case we want it to be free however if you want it to be uh to make money for you in the market you just want to hand tick the free section that is already by default ticked over there then you can maybe choose to put in your price maybe like a, maybe you can put a hundred usd then you do not want to rent it to rent it for a month maybe not even maybe yeah maybe like that or maybe you want to you can you are free to rent it for maybe three months so so the price as you will read on this uh, on this uh, you know instructions that are provided for you the 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 rent should be lower than the price the rent price should be lower than the price for unlimited use so we cannot come here and put maybe a thousand in this case it has to be something like 10 maybe 50 maybe 40 whichever that you want but in this case we want it to be a free product so i will just take that one then yeah the, the rest is uh, just good then i will just take on accept the terms of the market then whenever the if we if we if uh, we made a a mistake while naming this common section we will just be notified so we will just click on add and then we will wait for it to finalize in this case so did we make any mistake i'm not sure so did i really click yeah seems that that it is running wow my wi-fi seems to be low so my network seems to have been uh, gone what do we do we'll just continue okay so our registration was fine there was nothing wrong in our expert advisor in this case so you can see now the steps are now activated for the for us to upload the, the our product to the market so it says here that the new product draft has been successfully created fill in all the required information and add ex5 file to the version tab in this case this tab over there so the next thing that we want to do is to go to this uh, logo upload there the description then the screenshots and, and and as well as now the product file which are now corresponding to this one over here so what i will do over there i will just click on the logo then on the logo section we just want to you can read the instructions that are provided over there so from there we'll just go to attach image then maybe you can choose an image from our directory maybe i will just go to pictures maybe i can choose uh, is this one acceptable i am not sure so we just need to upload the the cut should be 200 times 200 pixels for the showcase and then the rest bra, 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 is, a, is good. So what I will do here, I will just go to our product section. I will open the, I will just go to there, then go to my documents, go to, go to, I mean they are literally on the desktop then i will just go to i mean just it can be just any any anything 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 in this case so we are just going to manually do this one so we can see all the steps that we really go about in this case so i will just open eh? open the what am i really looking for powerpoints then i will just go to maybe create a logo and then from there 
from there, from there is a uh, bear with those ones. So I'll just go to like uh, I think this one was for the dark cloud cover. Okay. I'm just literally looking for something. Yeah, yeah, it comes. Then we can just maybe take a, a snapshot of this one and upload our logo just super direct. So in this case, eh, what I will do is that eh, I'll just maybe minimize this one to that extent. Then control shift, control shift S to snip. Then for me to snip this one clearly, I do not know what extent do I go, but I'll just try to keep it super simple. Maybe up to that extent. Basically, that seems fair to me. Then, what did we really do? So, from there, I will go to... Was it this one? Yeah, that was it. Uh, not that one. I want to literally save this picture. So, control save. Then, I will save it on the desktop as a, our logo. Our logo on the desktop. Oh, maybe it can just generally come over there. Then I'll just go back now to wherever we were. So we saved it on the pictures folder. Here it is. Then I will open it with the. I will open it with the. Which app can I edit it to? Maybe Paint then change its pixels so i will uh, i will resize it to what pixels wow i am not so sure i, I think it was what pixels maybe let us just maybe let me cancel this one and be sure so that i can be sure in this case so just this is just something that is real quick. So I'm just showing you all the steps that are needed. So in this case, we want a picture for the size 200 by 200 pixels. So I will just go to our paints. So go to resize our picture, pixels, then 200. I do not want to maintain aspect ratio by 200 pixels then. Okay. So right from there now we can maybe save i mean yeah so from there i think everything now is uh, okay maybe i can just go over there and try to open our logo yeah i think that 200 pixels is now okay in this case so from there what we will just go is uh, i think we are done with this one so we can just go back to our logo section, go to add image, then we can now choose our logo that we just created and this one should work. So you can see now everything is okay. So from that section, you can just go on save, then yeah, boom. I think everything worked. So everything now is saved, everything now is a literally working fine from this x so our logo upload logo uploaded file is now ticked so from there you just want to go to the description where you can provide a minimum of a i am not sure what is the minimum description in this case so from there what you will do from here you just now to need to provide the description for your product in this case we will just provide a, a simple description so you can say that uh, this EA, this, uh, what did we call it? MA, ADX, Market Analyzer, EA, 
okay expert advisor is an advanced advanced ea that continuously I'll just scan the the market and I think you need to provide a description of a minimum of 150 words I'm not sure so but we'll just be there that continuously scans the market and finds the best trading opportunities for the trader to to open buy and sell positions buy and sell positions that are profitable to the trader it maybe can just go to another sentence so i can just type in that it it is an it is a fully automated ea that sends a buy and sell orders to the to the market so that the trader does not have to be at the computer interface each each time and each time and each time and it gives him or a time to do is own uh, activities in this case so basically maybe whatever the thing that i have written does not make sense what i just wanted to do is uh, to reach the minimum description characters in this case so which seems that i we attain that one so we can just go to this is a free free ea that you can contact the seller to have the files maybe the yeah maybe the files sent to you in this case but for the sake to you but for the sake of time maybe we do not maybe the the ea parameters are exposed exposed to the trader to optimize it automatically in this case so whichever whichever the maybe yeah maybe for the sake of time i'll just leave it over there then click on save but you can just do some other basics with this code eh? maybe you can just you want to do this one by uh, maybe making it bold then making it maybe uh, as a code in this case then no <laughs> let me just cancel that what i can just do is i can copy that one then put it as a code is it over there it just does not want to copy so i'll just cancel but you can play around with this one you can just play around with this one maybe you can yeah whichever that you want to do it but for the sake of time i'll just go ahead and click on save so that you can move now to the next uh, next step so you can see that our description is ticked and it is ready for the market to to do it to do yeah maybe yeah you you get it then from there we will now just basically move to the screenshots section so from here 
you can see that you have to provide the high quality screenshots then the image requirements are here for you to to set in this case so you can see we have the minimum size and the maximum size generally what i can say about this one is that the mql5 has just upgraded this one maybe recently this year or just maybe three two months ago because we were not able the as you can see here on our logo upload we were required to upload something of 200 pixels by 200 pixels which was in this case that is not a must it is a must it is constant you cannot change so we just have and it is not really very very like uh, easy to get that one to get that one to work it is not something that is easy but you, as you can see here now it has the maximum size and the minimum size as well so what we can just do we can uh, go back to our expert advisor take some screenshots maybe we'll run it for a year yeah maybe you can run it for maybe like a year then take some screenshots then we will be done with it in this case yeah so from there maybe we'll provide maybe i can just quicken this one since we do not really need to to see the visualization process or maybe yeah we can just have something like uh, i'll just snip this one from maybe from here to something no let me just leave it at alone let it to continue then we will just let it to finish then we can have some screenshots from the expert advisor that we will have to maybe like you know post them on our section in this case so we can start with the, this one over here oh wow the graph is really cool so on the graph we have the maximum amount was maybe three yeah it is just a cool thing in this case so what we can do over here now is that we can take uh, we can snap our window in that case then what else can we do let me just save that one first Okay, I'll just save that one to our pictures, then I will call it maybe one. So one, then I can maybe just snap something else, maybe from here. In that case, then I will close that one. Then I will just go back to our EA. What can we go to our journal, our backtest results over here, of course. Maybe take a snapshot. Maybe take a screen snip on the on this one all generally. Yeah, maybe like that one. Then what uh, where else do we go maybe yeah maybe you can upload these ones as well just super quick in that case then maybe to the input section we can choose to have this one as well and then from their settings we do not really need that one so yeah maybe let us just work with the, those few that we do have right now so i will just go to where was that one we were not really saving <laughs> wow so i will save that one as maybe two what else did we take a snap of a snip of so we were there so we came here and took a snip so to take a snip you just press on windows shift and then s or you can take a screenshot of whichever the way you that you are okay with so i will come to my clipboard then save this one as noun number three 
then I'll just do the same again for our as you can see here let me just see we add 93 total trades we add a profit trade profit our profit trades were 75 oh, wow were 75 I mean 76 with a profit winning factor of 81 percent and 17 losing trades which now gives us the losing percentage of 18 percent so you can see our expert advisor was really cool it's really making profits in this case so from there we could just uh, maybe go back and save our ea i hope this video is not will not be long over however let it be long but so but you understand what we are basically doing in this case so from there i think the four that we have are good so we can just go to add image then i think we can go to our expert advisors then shift up to that point then click on open i do really they upload hope that they upload it is happening did we not meet our requirements? <laughs> I will just do it again. Let me, in this case, let me just add one, then open. Wow. Is our image too big? Wow, wow, wow. I, I do not know what, <laughs> what we are not really meeting over here or can we just drop drag you know add image should work so let me just see if this one works it doesn't however invalid size it should tell us what is not then working what is not okay I am not sure why our image, wow, the internet connection seems to be lost. The internet connection was lost. So I'll just go back and repeat the same process again. So let me start with number one. Now it works. <laughs> wow forgive for the inconvenience so i'll just upload the rest three so that one now is uh, is really okay is okay is okay everything now is working out fine just as expected so you can then choose what your first image can be over here i think by right clicking no <laughs> no 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 i think you can change it by maybe dragging yeah you can drag it to make the first, maybe the last, the last, maybe the first, whichever that you want. So in this case, we just uploaded, then you want to save. I think we are cool with just four screenshots. Basically, you get the these, what, whatever that you are doing. So the screenshots section is now fully uploaded. So from there, you want to go to the product file. So in this case, you will have to read and comply with these uh, instructions or requirements that are indicated there for you. But in this case, eh, this is not the most final and the most, uh, what do I call it? Crucial part in this case, where you are going to add your file. So we'll just click to add your file, then go to choose. But in this case, eh, in our expert advisor, we just add literally some errors. I mean, not errors but in this case according to the specifications that are provided here the mql5 will need to scan your expert advisor file and try to make some mistakes here and there and see if you have already taken care of those mistakes in this case so i'll just go to let me just repeat the process again go to add your file add product file then choose the file name in this case so we'll just go to my local disk then on my local disk i will go to users 
Then on the users section, I'll go to here. Then I cannot actually see our app data, but that is not really a big problem in this case. Okay, that seems we cannot alter anything on that point. So what I'll just go is I'll cancel this one. I'll just go back and open something. This is a trick that I can show you right away. So we can just go to here users then maybe even before i go to users maybe can go to view view tab then click on hide hidden items check hidden items then we will have our app data <laughs> done for us so i'll just go back then i will go to uploading the file again which will now i am very certain that our product will upload with errors so you can see that uh, our uh, the, the hidden folder the hidden folders are now to us. So go to users the your computer file, then click on the app data in this case, then go to click on roaming, then click the, basically the the reason as to why as to why this uh, app data is hidden. Is an hidden item is because there are something that that you will not you do not want really to tamper with in this case however you can see we made them visible to us so go to your folder then the app data then the roaming then after the roaming find your meta quotes language editor meta quotes then the terminal trading terminal in this case then find your terminal so in this case eh, my terminal eh, our terminal was a eh, this one terminal file name then from there go to mql5 from there go to experts then go to our folder was this algo trading folder then find your file your ex5 file so in this case our file was this one ma adx ea then click on it so it is then chosen for you then click on save then the product will be sent to the market for verification purposes in this case i really hoped that you could see the stage over here but the moderator you can see the moderator is now looking is now scanning the market to see to like uh, literally find some errors for us so why are we expect we really do expect the files <laughs> our file name our folder name to come with errors however even as we wait for the moderator to finish the checks we can just maybe basically go to our ea click on ide over there and see the difference that whatever that i want so this is now basically our expert advisor in this case where we add the version number the link the yeah blah 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 that information that is there so this was now the code the full code to our expert advisor that we are uploading the market in this case so yeah so from there as we wait you can see if we click on compile i hope this one compiles fine over we had four warnings that are not really important to us so while i am looking forward to creating another video i i, I can see on my notification that the ea was not validated completely so our validation is finished so we can just go back and see why it was not compiled or completed uh, why it was completed with errors in this case so validation automatic validation in this case whatever the thing that i was telling you that the report says that validation completed with errors i told you <laughs> this is now the most crucial thing so you can see we have as we click on the report file over here we have invalid volume so there are no the actually what it says the our test report for version one of our expert advisor says that test on euro usd on one hour time frame netting account remember we put the either we choose we uploaded that it can be any so in this case they chose netting instead of edging or yeah basically that was now our option on the ea 
so we where we put any for the customer to choose between or the trader to choose between the the what do i call it the netting or edging account trading account in this case however <laughs> the automatic validation moderator says that test on euro usd uh, on one hour time frame on a netting account says that on this date the, so it is just sent the expert advisor to open trades on this one 2019 as you can see over there filled instant buy of 0.1 volume euro usd at that price at that stop loss at that take profit then invalid volume then all those errors then there are no trading operations therefore we cannot therefore in this case we cannot upload our expert advisor to the mql5 platform in this case so boom <laughs> just like that one so these are now the most common errors that uh, the expert uh, the most of the traders or the customers that want to upload the, their mq their expert advisors to the mql5 market meet in this case so consider yourself privileged to have gone through all the steps then to see the mistakes that most of the most of the traders there in the market are not able to do so from here i will now create another uh, part two of this video where we take care of these errors in the market so as you can see if i just literally go back and scan and maybe compile there are completely no errors in our expert advisor code as you can see zero errors however on the mql5 we are able as you even you can see when we ran our expert advisor on the strategy tester it just came out fine it just placed buy and sell orders in that manner however in this case it is not able to on the moderator check validation section so on our next video that is what that we are going to literally look for try to take care of those errors in this case so make sure to stay tuned up to the end of our final upload of our expert advisor so you can see that that is basically what we are going to do so this message basically encounters most of the sellers in the market so in this case eh, that is all that uh, that you needed in this video so please stay tuned to the next video so that we can correct these errors together upload our, our ex5 file to the market and then we can see what we just really basically hope for in this case uh, we can see our successful upload of our expert advisor to the mql5 market in this case so that is all bye bye till till that time he's there so thank you